Well, we're in South Africa, but not doing something you normally associate with South Africa. We're bird hunting, and I'm blaming it all on this guy right here. My good buddy, Ken Bailey. Ken, you invited us to come along to South Africa to hunt birds, and I was like, birds, South Africa? Well, it's sort of new to me, too. <laughs> this is my second opportunity to hunt birds in Southern Africa, first time in South Africa, and uh, had a chance to, to meet uh, Robbie and Dylan and the folks at the SCI, and they invited us over to see what it's all about. So I'm as new to this as you are. Well, Dylan, you're the expert then, because we both know nothing. I don't, I don't know about <laughs> expert, but um, yeah, the, the, we're here up in Bloemfontein, and we're going to be shooting pigeons on, on, on a flight line. So incoming and outgoing, there's a, a phenomenal amount of pigeons, and they cause a heck of a lot of damage to the, to the crops. Excellent. Well, yeah. what do you think, Ken? I think it's time we did some shooting. All right. <laughs> Sorry, neither day. <laughs> Rain in the sun, though. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <Lord. laughs> I'm doing all this good shooting, and Vanessa keeps missing it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, this is much easier on the shotgun than the camera, I will say. You got lone one up there? Right here? No. Right here, right here, right here. Okay. Wow. Too easy. <laughs> Maybe for the shooter. <laughs> well, that was a too easy one to miss. <laughs> You're scaring a few birds in South Africa. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> only, only 25 rounds later. <laughs> I was thinking the shotgun shooting was pretty hard, but... Uh... I'm thinking that for me the shotgun shooting was is way harder than the camera, but you're thinking the other way around. <laughs> Whoa. I learned too many bad habits from Vanessa. Too many birds around us. I feel like this camera should be on a swivel. I know, <laughs> we're just doing circles in this blind. Oh, right in front of us here. Well, Ken, uh, you promised us a lot of fun here in South Africa. And uh, so far it's first day, we've only been here like half a day and it was rocking, that was fun. Yeah, these are a target, man. Like nothing flies like a pigeon, as you probably figured out. Up there. <laughs> Holy man, they fly. Yeah, they'll humble you in a minute. Yeah. yeah. So maybe explain a little bit about the different birds we got here, Dylan. Okay, well, we've got the biggest one, the, the, the pigeon, the rock pigeon, or now it's called a speckled pigeon. Um, so that's your big guy. Um, and then from that, you go to a red-eyed dove. Um, it's, it's almost the same size as a pigeon. Right. Flies very different though, but, uh, quite slow. And, those and, are the ones I hit, I think. Yeah, those <laughs> <laughs> a lot slower than the pigeon and a lot less agile than the pigeon. Um, and then a, a Cape turtle dove, and he's got the, the black band across the back of his neck. And then a, a laughing dove, which is, which is a pretty, pretty small one. Um, laughing dove or a mourning dove, it's his other name as well, same, same bird there. So what season does this run? Um, you're looking at like from now up until the end of August. So kind of May through August? Yeah, depending on the sunflowers. That's what obviously brings the bird. When the sunflowers are ripe, the birds will the birds will start feeding. Hey, we're gonna be right back in this field tomorrow morning, and we're gonna be shooting some more pigeons and doves. This has been a ton of fun, and uh, I can only see it being more fun down the road. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Zeiss, we make it visible. Defense aerosols, bear spray, for when your life depends on it. Sacco Rifles, demand perfection. 
closed captioning brought to you by PSE Archery, the precision compound bow experience. Introducing the Carbon Air Stealth 35, along with the new Evolve cam system powered Evoke 35 and Evoke 31, PSE's newest precision compound bows. Traveling abroad is stressful enough, and that's why we use the services of Afton Safari Lodge anytime we go through Johannesburg. One of their representatives meets you right as you come off the plane. They help walk you through customs. You know, and if you're bringing your own firearms, they'll help you with all the permits and the process with the South African Police Service. Staying the night at the lodge itself is a great way to ease into Africa. You know, it's a short drive from the airport, and once there, you'll be shown to your well-appointed room with an ensuite bathroom. You can then enjoy a meal and a fine glass of wine in true African style. Later, you can take a dip in the pool or just sit around the fire on a cool evening. Afton Safari Lodge really does take all the worry out of travel. After night in the lodge, you'll be whisked back to the airport where one of the representatives will help you check in and get you on your way hassle-free. You know, we definitely consider Afton Safari Lodge a must when traveling through Johannesburg. Well, day two here, hunting uh, doves, pigeons in the Free State in South Africa. Never imagined I'd be bird hunting here, but we had an amazing afternoon yesterday. We only had time for a few hours of shooting, and uh, I think we went through, I don't know, five or six boxes of shells in no time. So we have a full day planned today, so it might get a little expensive on the shells. They, um, they brought a lunch out for us. Uh, the trailer they're setting up over in the trees there, so we're going to shoot for a while, have some lunch, come back, shoot again. Very civilized, this hunting in South Africa. Some of them I'm just giving a warning shot to. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I didn't care if you were on him or not, I was shooting him. <laughs> oh, look at the cloud of feathers coming down. That was one, I don't know if Vanessa was on him or not, but I was shooting. I'm hoping I was on him. I take the easy ones when I get them. Whoa, nice. <laughs> At uh, two. <laughs> Trying so hard for a double. I'm good as once as I was, was, but I'm good. I don't know, whatever that country saying is. I got, I must have got something. <laughs> Look at the feathers. <laughs> Holy, that was intense. Well, we got uh, moved to a new location here and we sure had a bunch of flocks come in hard and fast, haven't we? So hard and fast that the camera woman didn't totally get on all of them, but I couldn't believe that last shot. They were like huge flock, like right here. And they were just coming in, it was amazing. Another flock coming straight out, really low. Some off the left, they split off the left. Yeah, take them. Nice shooting, two Did of them. I get two? <laughs> <laughs> more, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I thought I hit him. <laughs> Got him. Did I? <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, Ken, we started with the hard ones, I, th I think. 
<laughs> at least the hardest ones to hit. Yeah. And we're on now, we're gonna be shooting some gray wing grouse. Yeah, they're actually uh, spur fowl or part of the spur fowl Franklin family. Uh, they're a high altitude bird. We'll be shooting them in the uh, Stormberg Mountains somewhere probably between five and 8,000 feet wow. uh, over pointing dogs. So hopefully for shooters like you and I, it's gonna give us a little bit easier. <laughs> we had on some of these. And then we're gonna probably do a little bit of waterfowl as well. So I think we started with the tough ones, get these out of the way. We'll look like superstars after that. I'm hoping so. Thanks for inviting me along, man. This has Absolutely. been an absolute pleasure. All mine. Hopefully uh, the next few days are as good as the last couple. Ah, guarantee they will be. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Stony Creek Hunting Gear, it's in the blood. Loa Boots, simply more. Silver Willow Taxidermy, see the difference. Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Well, as you can probably see, we had some excited dogs around us. We're going bird hunting, but we're in South Africa. We're on the Eastern Cape. And Robbie, explain a little bit about what's gonna happen today. Well, we're here in the Stormberg Mountains, home to the gray wing partridge. It's, it's, a, it's an upland game bird, um, very similar to your Hungarian partridge. Um, and they, they live in the high altitudes here. Basically what we'll do is we'll, we'll cast two dogs off at a time and we'll make a little line and we'll just follow the dogs. It's one of the real <laughs> traditional iconic bird hunts in Africa. So I'm really excited to And I'm really excited you invited me to join. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, Great. come along. Oh, you see, it just flashed wild. Just, there we go, shoot. Hold on, TJ. There we go. Good shooting. My first gray wings profile. Come on, come Busker. That's a good chap. Good boy. No, 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 no. There we go, that's enough, that's enough. There we go. There we go. This is a gray wing partridge. Beautiful little birds, aren't they? Yeah, good shot there. Thank you. TJ? They are quite similar in size to our Hungarians, aren't they, Ken? They look bigger yeah. flying. Uh, actually, they do. They're about the same size. This is a young bird, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's, let's have a look at its primary. Yeah, it's still got a pointed primary, so it's a young bird. And it's a young male, so it's got spurs. The females don't have oh, spurs. Oh, they do have spurs. Okay, so that's yeah. Where the spur comes from. Ah. Spur. And they're absolutely delicious to eat. Are they a white meat or a dark meat? They, they, it's, it's like halfway in between. That's it's it. not quite dark, but not quite Great. white. Yeah, but they. They're delicious. We'll have some for supper. Uh -huh. We've got one for supper. Excellent. <laughs> well, now that we know they're good eating, we'll get more. <laughs> There's a point. Are they on point? Dogs are on point. Did he? Steady. Steady. Let's walk through. Yeah. And again. Okay, that one's winged, let me watch it. Steady, steady. steady Boy, those birds held tight. <laughs> no worries, Ken. We saw another covey flush over here and just went over the hills, so we're gonna go see if we can find them. He's having a drink too. Walk through there, Dylan. Here we go. Steady, 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 steady. That one dropped, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, steady now. There might be more. Okay. Dead bird, Jenny. Give He says three went in here. Here we go. <laughs> so, all this disturbed, dug up dirt here, this is from those little tiny gray wing spur fowl. And they're digging up, uh, see all the, there's so many of these plants here. You can see all the, the bulbs are actually gone off them. But like just for that little tiny bird, 
to do all this digging. It's just, it's mind boggling. <laughs> Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. Deluxe wall tents, built in Canada for Canadian conditions. Midland Radios, communication for every adventure. Tika Firearms, second to none. We needed a lightweight boot with lots of stability for this hunt. And the Loa Zephyr Mid TF with its unique wrap sole construction fit the bill perfectly. Now, everyone's foot is shaped differently, and I'm gonna show you how to lace your boot for individual comfort and to enhance the stability of your boot. First, lace up the lower part of your boot for as tight or as loose as you are comfortable. Next, we're going to run your lace up the next hole on the same side of your boot. Do the same on the other side. Now these boots are tactical boots, so they don't have lace hooks, but this system works on either type of boot. Next, we're gonna run this lace through the loop we just made and do the same on the other side. Continue lacing all the way up to the top of your boot as you would do normally. Then take your laces, holding them in your hand, grab where you made that loop pull forward and in the same motion, so you're keeping your lace tight, pull. Now loop your lace three times. This will stop your boot from loosening. There you go. Now this system will stop your toe from jamming to the front of your boot and your heel from sliding up the back. Steady in back, steady. <laughs> reload, reload, reload. I don't have anything else. Oh dear. <laughs> Bad luck. Well, Robbie, that was a, a pretty amazing day. They say it's the outfitter's job to get the shooters in front of the birds. And you did that in spades. Um, I don't know, Ken, how did the shooters do? The outfitter did a great job of putting <laughs> the birds in front of the shooters. <laughs> They're a challenging bird to hunt, though. They really are. Yeah, they really are. And, and I must admit, um, Today, the, the, the presentation of the birds to the shooters was, was uh, very difficult. Uh, you know, single birds flashing out of the grass one at a time with high winds, um, you know, on the slopes of the hills. Nope. It was difficult shooting, so. We should have you on the show more often because I usually have to make my own excuses for not hitting things, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really difficult, I must admit. There's no question the terrain here is a challenge for bird hunters. You know, it's, there's a lot of up and down here. It is, and how many birds did we see today? Uh, well, we saw we saw ten coveys all together, and I think I, my total is 84 birds. Sure. Wow! And that's a really good day. Yeah, that's a good day. Yeah. yeah. So what's in store for us this afternoon? Well, we go down to one of the ponds and uh, sit in the blinds, and hopefully some ducks will come over. Nice. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. This has uh, been an amazing adventure. I never imagined. I've been. This is my ninth trip to Africa, but it's the first one shooting birds, and I never knew this type of bird shooting. I mean, you know, you hear people shooting at water holes and things like that, but this is as pure sporting dog as it gets. We may have put on eight miles, but those dogs probably put on 80. No, they, they ran far, yeah. absolutely. Well, stick with us for the second half of the show and hopefully Ken and I shoot a little better. There's quite a long waterway that goes down here. It's about, oh, it's probably 15, 15 miles long. And they're, they're little um, dammed up areas all the way down. So it's a, it's a, a waterfowl's paradise. Um, so what we've done here is we've put out some decoys, built these blinds, and uh, we'll hop into the blinds and hopefully some ducks will fly over and get decoyed in. There we go, coming on the left. Take it, take it. Good shooting. Come on here, yeah, come on here. So here's the most common duck here. This is the yellow bill for obvious reasons, but beautiful bird green in here but apparently they're the one we'll see the most of here roughly the size of our mallard just got in the blinds and already got two down so we're doing good okay take them up top 
Good shooting. What's the one coming around up top? Good shot. So we've been in the blind about uh, 20 minutes and I don't know, we've got six or seven ducks down already. They've been coming in pretty fast. It's a great thing. It's opening day of the season here, so they've never been shot at on this dam. So they're uh, coming in with pretty much reckless abandon. And it's much easier shooting than the gray wings were, that's for sure. Take him, take him. Well, Ken, that was a nice way to end the evening. It's always fun to shoot some ducks. Yeah, and they behaved uh, well. They, they came in as, almost as soon as we got set up. Yeah. So happy you invited us along. It's been a real pleasure. And uh, I know you're going to carry on without us for the rest of the trip. We have to head home to North America, and we're going to be jealous that whole trip home. Well, I'll send you some pictures and tell you a few stories. Cool. Thank you, Ken. A pleasure, as always, to share camp with you. For more information on these and many more bird hunting opportunities in South Africa, check out African Wing Shooting Safaris online at AfricanWingShootingSafaris.com. These companies have provided products and services that are critical to hunts conducted on Outdoor Quest TV. You can check us out online at OutdoorQuestTV.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.